Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am Bat, and um, today I'm going to talk about, once again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, the reason why I'm going to talk about Duel Links because um, it's going to be a top 5 Helltoes list of Helltoes that I think deserve to be in Zetzel and Alt 5 this time. And the reason why I'm doing this is we might get new characters from either of those franchises. I mean, either one of those series. And, um, we even, we already got one from 5Ds, which was this month. But, um, I think there's going to be a new character coming out later on in 2022. I want to say probably in either February or March. So, that's why I want to get this list right now. And if any of these Helltoes do not show up in, in your, your Duel Links, um, that's yay, yeah, they might show up next time. Or maybe they might not show up ever in Duel Links. Who knows? Oh, wait. Like I said, this time we're going to be focusing on Helltoes who are from Zetzel and who are from Alt 5. Okay, so when do we know? I'm not going to be tackling Dark Side of Dimensions because Dark Side of Dimensions is already done, in my opinion. And, oh yeah, um, while that's taken care of, um, let's start with the list. So, coming up with number five is Quentin. In case you don't know, Quentin is, um, he is the Yoto from Yozatsu. Um, he is like related to two of the EO tools that are already in the game, and their names are Tway and Quantra. Um, Tway's debt is a ancient materials debt, and Quantra's debt is um a puppet themed debt. So I think it makes sense to have Quentin into the game to complete the entire trio of the brothers. And, um... I mean, it makes sense because his ace is already in the game. His ace is called Dyson, Dyson Spear. And I hear, if it does, if he does come to Duel Links, then I would love to see the animation of that card. Because, um, when they showed him the anime, it looked like the Death Star from Star Wars. And I'm pretty sure they might recreate that. Number four. <clears throat> Shay Obsidian from Yu-Gi-Oh! Alt 5. Now, the reason why I think Shay Obsidian needs to be in the game, because why not? He's one of the popular characters, and his ace is also an Seas monster. And um, his ace would be um, I think it's called Wave, Wave Rafter, Rising Falcon, I think that's what his ace is called. And it has an at sea's transformation, like, does it hold, it hold, wake up magic. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna make a stretch of deck, that uh, stretch of deck based off that hold in the future, but I think the first person who would have a stretcher deck of the Wake Up Magic at Sea is called should be Yuma. And I'll, ex I'll explain that in a future video next year. So yeah, it would probably make sense that um, Shea Obsidian should be in the game because he's one of the main hero tools. He, he was most of an anti-hero, but later, in later episodes, he turned out to be a, a hero. Oh, my. Number three, in my opinion, is number 96, Dark Mist. Wait, Daniel, yeah, that's not a hero, that's a dual monster. Well, so? Your Bell's a dual monster and she's in the game, so it would probably make sense if um number 96 is in the game. And he is basically 
and evil counterpart of the main protagonist, which is as which his name is um Astro from Yozatsu. And to be honest, that would actually make sense to put him in the game. Because he was introduced later in the show. And I think it's about time to add um him into the game. And what is his ace? Well, it says so in his name. His ace is Dark Mist. Um, and that's all I have to say about him. Um, number two is another hero tool I think that should be in Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links, and that is Sola from Yu Gi Oh! Alt 5. I can't believe that he's not in the game yet, even though that he's one of the main hero tools. Um, in case you're wondering what type of debt he used, he uses a fusion debt. And his ace monster in the show is um, a Chimera type monster. I, I even forgetting what that monster is called. I didn't know that it's a fusion monster. And to summon it, you need to sacrifice one monster from your main deck and two other monsters in the um, from the extra deck. Oh, two. Two um fusion monsters in the Astro deck. And I, I still can't believe he's not in the game yet. Anyways, honorable mentions. Now, I know that we're still in the early stages of Alt 5 and Zetsul, but I like to point out some of these honorable mentions. Because they might be in the game either sooner or later, so it will probably make sense. Anyways, time for the honorable mentions list. Um, Yuto, Yoi, and yu gi -Oh. Now, the reason why I think Yuto, Yoi, and yu gi -Oh might, either one of them might be in the game, because, um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna, gonna be a skill based around them. And yu gi -Oh 5 is a crossover series. So, well, to be honest, they kind of jam it into your head because there was a field still called crossover. Yeah. So anyways, I I'm pretty sure um, it would make sense. And I think this skill should be called Dimensions, Dimension Spirit or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that um, it will be based on one of the dimensions, like, oh, you always get yeah, dimension skill at fusion. He's gonna have starving venom in his deck. Oh, you always get yeah, dimension skill at synchro. He's gonna have quill wing in his deck. Um, you two gonna get um dimension skill at at seas because um he has. Oh, what's that monster called again? He has a he has a, a seeds right in his deck, which oh, don't with bio thing. That's what it's oh yeah. Sorry, my mind kind of blacked out a little bit. Don one thousand. Now the reason why I think Don one thousand might be in the game because um he's one of the antagonists, and I think it makes sense for him being in the game. Not soon, because he was introduced in the end of Zetsu. So, he might be in either late 2022 or 2023. That might be a possibility. Dextra and Maestro from Yu Gi Oh! Zetsu. It kind of makes sense to put Dextra and Maestro into the game, because, um, Dextra's ace is already in the game. Same thing with Fudet. But I don't know about Maestro. Hmm. If I had to, if I had to think what his ace is going to be, it's going to be an it sees monster. Anyways, and one more honorable mention. Hmm. Let me think. One more. I guess. Oh yeah. 
Woje, Woje. I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name right. Oh, long. Um, anyways, he was one of the antagonists of Yu Gi Oh! Alt 5. And he has a fusion deck. And his ace is, I want to say it would be like that ancient Yell Giant monster, which is a fusion monster. And yeah. Oh wait, that's what but those were my honorable uh, honorable mentions. Um and my number one how to that I would like to see next year in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is <laughs> Julia from Yu-Gi-Oh! Out 5. Um Julia is one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tools who is um She's a very strong duelist, and it kind of makes sense to put her in the game because, um, her deck, like I said in my predictions video of Duel Links with Alt 5, I said that most of her deck is all in the game, and I do know that her ace is going to be a fusion monster. Um, and her, and I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a skill. Which is um going to help her draw Gem Knight Fusion. The only help that's missing is in her deck, in my opinion, is that is that field spell. But another reason why I think Julia should be in the game because one of the characters did mention her, which might be foreshadowing to her being the game. And the character who mentions her is Zuzu, because she has one of her, one of her cards, and that card is called Rose Crystal, or is it Crystal Rose? It's one of those cards. So that might be a hint of telling us if she's gonna be in the game. All right, that was my top five characters who I think should be in Duel Links next year in twenty twenty two. Um, I'm pretty sure we're also going to get Heritors, I mean, more Heritors and Dual Monsters, GX, and 5Ds. And if we do, that would be awesome. Alright, so, um, please let me know how you liked the video. And have you guys played Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links before? And which Hilltoe you would like to see in your door links? And be anyone with the Hilltoes. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Please let me know in the comment section. Please re remember to subscribe to my channel. Please hit the little bell and the like button. Anyways, always be a champion. And I'm out.